Hello and welcome back to the Champion Draft Series. This time, a special interview with one of our own competitors, Absolution. How are you doing, Absol? Is that me? <laughs> that, that is you. We have oh, you on here okay. today. Hi, what's going on, man? How's it going? I'm doing good. Great. Well, it's been a very exciting four weeks of the Champion Draft Series so far, and we're glad to have you on so you can share a few insights about your team, your draft, your roster, and how you've been navigating the season so far. I'm just going to jump right into it, if that's all okay, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you say jump, I say how high. There we go. All right, so first of all, uh, during the draft, you were second pick uh, mm -hmm. with only Puffball Panda right in front of you. What was your strategy going into this draft? Um, so my main strategy was I'm going to pick Jin first, right? So I'm like, okay. I know that J Annie Jin is a, is a contention. No one's picking Kenan, okay? And I'm like, I need to take Jin Kenan first because if anyone wants to troll me, that's how they're going to do it. So I took Jin first, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that way, also, it just denies Annie Jin from anyone else that wants to play it. Uh, and then afterwards, it was grabbing Kenan, and I had discussed with a friend of mine uh, top player weight I'm playing, uh, top 32 seasonal uh, finalist, and uh, we chatted about uh, some interesting champion options and things. So I ended up just kind of drafting pretty much everything that I wanted. Uh, I waited on the uh, S cost champions because of the ones that were there, I genuinely didn't care about any of them really. I was like, all of these guys exist, I don't really want them. Um, I'm gonna try to build a lineup of champions that are lower cost or lower valued. That way, I have a higher chance of getting picks that I want. So, interesting, yeah. And you definitely got a lot of the champs that you yeah. wanted there. So I get, yeah. I'd say that that worked out for you. Uh, going to your special sauce, Jin Cannon. Yeah. Uh, it's gone through a bit of a journey so far into this season. Uh, it's won games, it's lost games. There was that one week you didn't bring it, and then this previous week uh, it was just banned out right yeah uh, how, how do you have a wild choice <laughs> how do you uh, think this signature deck of yours uh plays into this format uh it depends really um the deck has is the matchups are a bit uh polarizing it's really strong in certain matchups really weak into like aggro doesn't do too well um or like a lot of cheap interaction um so that like pnz style control uh, which happens to be what's really good right now is like a bunch of units or PNZ control. So that's been an interesting uh, situation to take a look at and be like, okay, how do I navigate this? My round one was Tempo Mal, who only plays aggro decks. I don't know if he can count higher than four in terms of paying for mana. So like, yeah, I was like, I was like, great. What am I gonna do here? You know, um, and. And then week two, uh, bringing it into Elzon, I believe like I just feel like I didn't draw super well one of those games, um, but then I ended up winning the second the second time, which was fine. Uh, week three didn't bring it because I just knew that the lineup I was going into was not it wasn't worth bringing it. it. It wouldn't do anything into it. And then this week I was actually really confident, and then it got banned. I was like, yo, what? That's crazy. That was an, that was an insane ban for my opponent. It, it must have been pretty good into those decks if it was worth the ban, like you said. Yeah. Pretty confident no, it, with it. It smoked. It smoked it. I, I did. I was playtesting it into Gwen Alawi, and I was like, "Yeah, you can't do anything. I just block everything." Yeah, it's a shame we didn't get to see that matchup, but it is how it is. Uh, do you think there's any weaknesses within your roster? We know there's a few champions that we have yet to see you pull out and bring to the table. Champs like Tristana, champs like Jax. Uh, do you think it's coincidence those haven't been brought or they just have not had their matchups yet? And do you think that your roster has the opportunity to be improved with this upcoming trade week? Um, uh, yes and y yes. Uh, that's an answer to your question. <laughs> um, <laughs> so weakness-wise, yeah, there's definitely is. Uh, Tristana was a great pick until Riot was like, we're going to nerf Atrocity because Absolution doesn't deserve to have victory. And I was like, oh, great. So now that I have Bandle and SI, which I was like, this is my my back-of-the-pocket little pick here. I can maybe go uh, Bandle, SI, aggro, throw Tristana at the enemy next. I can't do that anymore because it's bad now. I tried doing it with Senna, and it just didn't feel good, um, which sucks. Uh, and then Jax was mainly because I didn't want people picking Jax orange because I knew that I was going to have a hard time into that deck. And I was like, if I get Jax, I can maybe do some swarm something with it, but I'm just picking it out from away from people. Um, at the time, Jax orange was really good. But 
uh, in the trade weeks, I will be looking looking to get rid of some cards, uh, mainly to draft up some of the new champions, just because I know I can. I'm going to want to play Samira. That's a Ruben Zoo special. All right? He said he designed that one, so you already know I'm going to like it. Uh, and on top of that, Jin Kennen is getting a massive buff with the coin package, dude. It's insane. <laughs> Oh, I am excited to see how that plays out. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of the viewers will as well. Oh, let me and that's, tell you that's what. A, a lot of extra cannons for that cash right there. Oh, I made a deck list and I sent it to my, my uh, training partner. I was like, dude, tell me, like, is there a weakness here? And he was like, this shit's crazy. I was like, I know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm excited, man. Um, but moving off of your roster... Uh, can you give us a little bit of insight into your team name, Made in Heaven? Because I'm sure there's some that might not get oh, to reference. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, the Made in Heaven plan will, will succeed. Uh, so I uh, I can't tell you, but I, let's just say that I have what I would call a divine uh, plan for this entire tournament, right? And everything so far is going completely 100% according to plan. Um, just like the famed villain, uh, uh, Poochie, from the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 Stone Ocean series. And you guys haven't watched JoJo, you should watch it. I'm a big fan. And so I wanted to reference, because of I formulated this crazy, insane plan going into the tournament, I was like, I need to, I want to reference that in some way. So I went with the name Made in Heaven, uh, as that is a crazy, insane plan from the JoJo's anime. All right, well, there you have it, folks. Uh, the, there, there's the secrets behind the name. Now, we're halfway through the season. We still got another half of the season to go, and you still have some tough opponents to face. You have Ikado first when we get back into the games. And then you've got Mafraju and Puffball Panda, who are our first and second place players, respectively. How confident are you going into these clear threats? Uh, did you list the tough players? Because I, I, I didn't hear their names. Okay, well, there's there's the answer, folks. Uh, very confident indeed. Well, that is, uh, we're about to wrap up this interview that we have with Absolution. So thank you very much for joining us. But before we go, um, we have a lot of statistics that we've gathered from the uh, Champion Draft Series through all the games. And I was curious if you might be able to guess some of them. Absolutely um, not. Go ahead. Okay, I'm pulling up the statistics right here. Um, what do you think is the champion in your roster that you have drawn the most? Senna. That is correct. Yeah. You have drawn Senna 12 <laughs> times so Darkness far this has been series. cooking. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Darkness has been cooking. Sen that, that is an average of like three draws yeah. per week. That is yeah. that great. There, there aren't many other champions in the series so far that have been drawn that much, and you, you're not even tutoring her. Listen, here's it's, the thing, right? I'll, I'll tell you mm -hmm. before. I have, I have my own stand power. Industry Baby is the stand name, and the ability of my stand is that every time I draw a card, it's a 50-50 shot whether or not it puts the card I need on top of the deck. So all I'm hearing is that I needed to draw Senna 12 times. All right, well, like, fantastic job. You guessed perfectly, and we're, again, glad to have you. Looking forward to seeing your remaining performance uh, in these weeks to come yeah. and uh thank you for putting on a show so far these last few weeks and uh, best of luck to you the only thing i know how to do is put on a show i'd be glad to have me too <laughs>